Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Auntie on a Budget. I am so excited for this video because a few reasons. One being that I'm stuffing over $1,600, yay! And two, because I'm starting my um, sinking funds journey one more time. And this time I'm bringing you along with me. So let's go ahead and start stuffing these envelopes. I had started my um, budgeting journey back in October, but um, due to some financial emergency that happened this year, I had to go ahead and unstuff all my envelopes and use the money to um, fix the little situation that I had. And it was sad to see all that money go because I didn't get to use the money for the specific categories that I had designated, but it's okay. On the other hand, I was extremely happy that I had this fund put away and it helped me out so here we are again doing this journey and i'm stuffing uh 1680 to be exact and part of it is coming from paycheck number two of april and my um tax refund yes so excited okay these three envelopes i usually carry in my wallet gas spending and groceries Anything left over, I put aside. Okay, we have 10. Okay, so I am doing the $5 challenge and the $1 challenge. So I'm going to put these over here. And for spending, I have $21. So that goes into that category. And the 20, any 10 or 20 um, dollar bills. I put that fund in a separate envelope and I'll show you in a minute for gas. Oh yeah, gas is empty because I just pumped gas yesterday. So for gas, I like adding $60, 20, 40, 60, $60 works fine right now because I'm working from home a few days a week. And once we go back to the office full time, this amount will get revisited. Spending, I get $40 cash, $20, $40, and $10 um, into my Starbucks card that I do automatically from my bank account. So I get $50, $20 in cash, $10 Starbucks. For groceries, I do um, how much? $200. I put away $200, so let's count. $20, $40, $60, $81, $20, $40, $60, $82. Okay, so I put $200. Let's confirm. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. This is the $200 for groceries for two weeks. And my envelopes are all stuffed and ready to go. Okay, so these go back into my wallet. Now, for my sinking funds binder. Let me pull these out since they're very white. You can barely see them. Okay, so these I'll pull to the side for now. Okay. So, first envelope to stuff is my anniversary. My anniversary is until the end of the year. And we're going to start with $70, 40, 60, and let's see, whoops, maybe I should get one of those cash trays, huh? But again, I'm starting this journey with you on YouTube, and I don't want to spend money that I really don't need to, just, I'll just organize it nice and neat. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. 70 dollars into the anniversary envelope. Okay, anniversary is done. Birthday is getting 90. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. And this is for family birthdays. Done. For boss, boss, we usually um, pitch in $50 for his birthday and $50 for boss's day. 
but because this is not until the end of the year, I'm gonna go ahead and skip it this time and start stuffing it later. Car, car is getting $50, 20, 40, 45, 50. So 20, 40, 45, 50. And this is for all car related um, expenses. Car tags, car washes, <sighs> car maintenance. Okay, Christmas. Christmas is getting $110. Christmas is my favorite holiday of the year, guys. What is your favorite holiday? 20, 40, 60, 80, one. How much did I say I was gonna put? 110. So it's 20, 40, 60, 80, one, five and 10. Yeah, I can't wait until Christmas comes around because this time, for the first time ever, <laughs> uh, I'll be ready. For emergency, <clears throat> emergency is getting $260. So it's one, two, 20, 40, 60. 100, 200, 20, 40, 60. You know what, having, Starting this journey has really helped me out a lot because I used to swipe my card left and right and all I did was just add more debt into my credit card. But now that I'm starting this journey again and managing my money, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm not lying. Friends, for friends, this is friends' birthdays. Friends, um, what if I wanna give my friends any Christmas gifts? That's where this is coming from, and I'm gonna go ahead and start it with ten dollars this time around. Again, um, you can start this journey at any time of the year and build it up as little or as much as you can. This is your budget, this is your journey. You could stuff as much as you can, and trust me, you'll see it grow. In no time if you add five dollars two dollars one dollar whatever it is it slowly but surely will grow and you're gonna love it once you see that envelope grow okay for house house is getting ten five ten and this is for house maintenance or house repairs and obviously right now it only has ten dollars but we have to start somewhere and ten dollars it is for this time around house decor is also getting ten dollars House decor, I'm excited for this envelope because for the fall and winter, I like to decorate my house. And I am building this up so that I can go shopping. And who doesn't love to shop? Okay, for me, this envelope is part of something that I wanna start saving for myself. And if you remember, out of my um, envelope that came out of my wallet, I had 20 something dollars left. So any $20 bill or a $10 bill, I'm gonna go ahead, that it's left over, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff it into the me envelope. And this is just money for me to spend on whatever I want. And I wanna see how much I can gather between now and July for my birthday. Medical, medical is getting 30. So 20, 25, and 30, 20, 25, 30. Miscellaneous, um, this time around, I'm gonna go ahead and put $40. And this is for anything that it's unbudgeted between paychecks. So $40 is going into that envelope. Self-care, self-care is getting 70. And let me see, 20, 40, 60, 65, and 70. Let's double check. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. If you haven't started your budgeting journey, I really recommend you do. And again, you don't have to start with a big amount. You can start with as much as you can, as much as you want. And once you see it grow, you're gonna be so excited. Travel. For travel, I'm gonna go ahead and add 250. 1, 2, 
20, 40, 45, 50. So we have 1, 2, 20, 40, 45, 50. And we're planning on going to Lake Tahoe. And that is a prepaid um, trip that we had from last year. And obviously because of the pandemic, we couldn't go. And this time around, we're going. And this will be just spending money. So we're good to go for that. Utilities. Utilities is getting 250, 20, 40, 60. Nope, I said 50, right? 250. You see? Sorry, guys. I am very nervous, but excited at the same time. 100, 220, 40, 45, 50. We get our utility bill um, every two months. So 250 to start off I think it's pretty good should be ready for when the bill comes around yearly subscriptions is getting 70 20 40 60 65 and 70 20 40 60 65 and 70 Payday challenge. Okay, for this payday challenge, um, this is just a fun way for me to save a little more money. And the way I came with this idea was that for every time I get paid uh, Monday through Friday, I put away $20 out of that paycheck. And if I get paid on a weekend, then I put $15 away. So this time was during the week. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20. So $20 go into the payday challenge. And rollover money, okay, the rollover money is going to be this, but give me one second. We're going to go ahead and stuff my $1 challenge and my $5 challenge. Okay, these two envelopes I had since October, and I did not touch this when I had my financial emergency. I just left these as is, as they are, so I didn't touch them, and I'm going to continue stuffing them now, so let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six dollars going into the one dollar challenge. And this envelope is getting pretty chunky, so it's almost time to get another envelope. And for the five dollar challenge, we have two five dollar bills to put in there. They came out of our grocery envelope. And this is done. Now, the 50-50 challenge is my way of doing the 100 um envelope challenge but i'm doing it super slow i'm only adding whenever i can so um i've already started adding a little bit so this time around i'm gonna go ahead and add five dollars and i don't have my marker with me so i just have to remember to cross the five out and make a note of that so we can keep record okay so these three envelopes are going to get counted until the end of the year. Well, this one might not because I doubt that I'm going to have it finished by the end of the year. This is a challenge that I'm doing very slow. Super, 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 super slow. But that's okay. The $5 and the $1 challenge will get counted at the end of the year. So the leftover, the rollover with the leftover money that I have here goes straight into the rollover envelope. And let's see how much we have. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. $35 that go into this envelope. And this is being used for additional credit card payment. So I send my regular payment out plus anything that I can roll over. It's additional and that's great. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you follow me on this journey and like I told you earlier, you can do this. You can start at any time, at any amount. And it's such a great feeling. And I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.